All right. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, the status of an effort to upgrade the MemCG controller in Android. Um, maybe, yeah, about and maybe about C groups in general and, and how MGLRU interacts with, with MemCGs. Uh, if I can. Okay. A little side error. Yeah, I see it. I just can't click on it. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so what is MemCG for those of you don't, that don't know? It's, uh, it's a C group controller that accounts system memory use and it can limit um, memory on a per C group basis. It also affects how re, uh, reclaim is, is, is done. Um, so, uh, for example, you can, you can kill or throttle app allocations um, based on their current memory usage and uh, a threshold that you, that you, that you set. Uh, why do we want to do this? Um, yeah, a couple reasons. I mean, uh, you know, we've got this desire to upgrade from to V2 from V1 to avoid any uh, potential uh, issues with future deprecation of V1. Um, I'm not sure how likely that is, given the amount of difficulty that people are reporting upgrading applications from V1 to V2. Um, everybody seems to have trouble with this, so I, I don't think there's a real risk of ripping out V1 anytime soon, but um, at least I'd like to avoid it, you know, in the future. Um, and also, uh, uh, we want to extend MemCG for additional accounting features. That leads into my second bullet point. And, uh, you know, we don't want to extend V1, we want to extend V2 uh, if, if V1 is on path to deprecation. Uh, yeah, so uh, accounting, uh, um, DMA buff accounting. So currently, uh, DMA buffs are not accounted as, as user memory, they're kernel memory. We have a separate way to account those. In Android, it can be several hundred megabytes of memory that's used for these DMA buffers. So we like to know what's using them and when. And uh, um, yeah, but our, our current accounting solution is this DMA buff sysfs stats stuff. Uh, it, it has a performance issue where it takes a global kernel lock on every allocation and export. And um, it's, it, we really want to get rid of that. So uh, MemCG does a, would, would do it a little differently. It's a per CPU counter um, that would eventually get flushed up to a global counter that we can observe. So we expect to see uh, less jank issues related to this DMA buff tracking, the D DMA buffer counting by implementing it in uh, MemCG. Um, there's some patches that do that, but it, this is not um, this does not exist anywhere yet. Um, Another feature that MemCG has is proactive reclaim. So uh, since Android 14, um, we, we now like aggressively background applications and and freeze them. So when we when we background an app, we'll try and shrink its memory footprint by running garbage collection and uh, trimming memory. Um, but but there's no um, at least as, not as far as I'm aware. There's no um, effort to do anything in the kernel to, to reclaim memory from, from these backgrounded applications in the kernel. And since we have a, a per application C group V2 hierarchy, we could we could manually initi initiate this, this kernel reclaim on a specific application that's backgrounded um, to, to shrink the memory footprint of these applica applications even further. Um, yeah, memory limits, I mean, uh, so there are various uh, thresholds that you can apply to to, to a C group, um, you can cause an application to throttle when it allocates, you can cause it to oom when you exceed a limit. Um, you can protect the, the working set of an app, a minimum like working set of an application so that reclaim skips over it. Um, so this, this might be something you wanna do for foreground apps, visible apps, latency sensitive apps. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, so working set protection might help uh, keep uh, foreground applications fast. And uh, yeah, this last one is a, it's, it's like a, so Android, Android relieves memory pressure with LMKD by, by killing apps. Um, there's this interesting property of reclaim when you have memcg enabled and MGLRU enabled, where because of the uh, MGLRU LRU ordering, we're likely to reclaim memory from apps that uh, we, we're going to kill anyways with, with LMKD under memory pressure. Um, so that leads to lower refaults. And 
and you know we we waste less time uh, doing refaults if, if we you know enable memcgv2 to do this. Okay, so uh, I enabled memcg. I ran some tests and found lots of problems. Uh, so this is really a story of uh, comparing performance with memcgv2 to either memcgv1 or or no memcgs. Um, I'll run a I'll run a test, spot something odd in the results, and investigate, fix, and repeat. So this is just a list of 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 fixes. Um, I guess the this first one is like a broad category of issues related to zombie memcgs. Um, zombie memcgs are memcgs that have been partially removed from the system, but not completely removed. And since they consume kernel memory, and they sit on a list. Uh, that's used for reclaim, and that list gets iterated like every reclaim. Uh, I, yeah, it, it slows down reclaim basically. Uh, so we'd like to avoid having these. Um, to give you an idea of numbers, um, you might expect like 400 to 500 active C groups during uh, during this test, but you might have like 2,000 zombies just after like an hour or two. So it's a um, pretty big impact. Um, I was initially testing on a 510 pixel. I found yeah pixel driver bugs, bugs in 510 that were fixed in later kernel versions, and bugs in 510 that still exist existed upstream. So this is these are some of the fixes. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got this case swap the issue as well, where uh, basically spending doing nothing, um, since I'm kind of short on time. I guess I'll just skip ahead, but basically, I think we're pretty close to a state now where the amount of like odd or unexpected uh, test results are uh, pretty near zero for the MCGV2 case. Um, uh, the last remaining one is this large, pretty large slab increase that I can't explain, so I'm, I'm investigating that still. And remaining work is uh, rerun these tests on 6.1, which is a kernel that we would actually deploy on instead of, instead of 5.10. And yeah, pulling these awesome KMIM patches from Roman to get even even faster than MCG stuff. So I'll uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Okay. Um, should we move back over to E, and we can continue the discussion there, and then uh, move on to the other talks.